Hope is what brings Prince George together once a year for the Relay for Life fundraiser. It's a time to remember loved ones who've lost for battle, but also a time of optimism. Yellow shirts scatter the track. These are the warriors, the fighting, the survivors. When you are first diagnosed, it's like, okay, it's just one spot, we're good. And then you find out it's in other areas. Then um, things get a little scary. It's terrifying, actually. Um, especially when your chemo doctor tells you, you better uh, get your affairs in order. And those words were ringing in my ears like a bell. Just, what? <laughs> I'm 42 years old, this is not gonna happen. The statistics for cancer are staggering and vast, but so are the fundraising totals for the Prince George Relay. Over $500,000 has been raised during this relay, which goes into helping facilitate patients in need. You know, you look around the track and you see people that you know that you may see in passing, um, and there's this common denominator between all of us that we, we really have a determination in the fight against cancer, and what a neat, magical thing that we have here. Being able to have a visual view on how many other people are affected by cancer helps current patients unite during a time in their lives where they might feel isolated. It is just amazing to see the camaraderie and the kinship among people, you know. It's just, it gives you such hope and inspiration. You can't put it into words. It's, it, there's something in that sea of yellow t-shirts that gives people some fuel that they need in their fight. And um, we're just, we're so lucky to be able to do this in the city. And Prince George clearly knows this with all the support that comes out every year. Our hope is, is that with survivors and with current cancer fighters, that when they come to the track, they feel the energy that's here. Um, and they realize they're not alone in this fight, that everyone in the city of Prince George that is at this track is in the fight with them, supporting them in their fight, and they're not alone. Every one of them has a story. Every one of them has a journey. And to, for all of us to come together as a community and as survivors and say, we are here and we are not gonna back down. This is not gonna get us. We are gonna fight till the bitter end. And we're gonna fight together because that's what you have to do. For as much as it is a personal fight, it also becomes a community fight. The old adage, it takes a village to raise a child, it takes a village to fight cancer too. For Go On Shaw TV, I'm Casey Pitts.